What it do though? It's your favorite loke, Mr. Ortiz. Back in this been in there, like always. But anyways, I just want to talk about something like the difference between street dudes, squares, gangsters, gentlemen, and whatever else. The crazy thing about it is the gangster shit is dead. Being street hood, that narrative, that shit is dead. Let's be real. Let's be technical. Because the new gangsters are them internet dudes. And that's a fact. You know, because it is not what you do, how you do. It's the money. When you got that bag back, everybody going to chase you. That's just what it is. Biggie said it the best. More money. More problems. That's just what it is. And me being not a street dude, but I'm a gangster, but I'm a gentleman too. Shout out to Styles P. So, but I knew by the time the early 2000s came, I knew all that gangster shit was dead. Because you don't get nothing out of it. You know what I'm saying? Just like joining the gang. I was born into this shit. You feel me? I had a choice. But my choice was to go with the tradition. You know what I'm saying? It's the way of life where I'm from. But at the end of the day, as a teenager, when you don't know no better, no father figure, you know, you gravitate to the, to the big homies, you know, the OGs, not IG. You feel me? But then the truth come out when you get older, you start realizing and you stop being dumb and stupid and you like, damn, it's more than meets the eyes on some G.I. Joe type shit, you feel me? More than meets the eyes, Transformers, whatever. But I was like, man, going to jail, catching all these cases, charges and shit, people praising when you come home from jail, they give you little gifts and trinkets and shit like that. But after that, nigga, back to regular program and I tell people stop praising that shit man cause all you do is make it worse is our other kids look at the shit and be like oh I'm gonna do the same thing he did monkey see monkey do bunch of followers you feel me but when I start getting older going to different places and state and how this gang shit travel everybody everywhere and I realize I'm like damn dude these niggas will fall for anything like that's sad and I was like what the hell and then one day, this is like 2000, let me see, was it like 2010 or something? And I was sitting on the porch or whatever. Well, actually, I was in some apartments. I was sitting on the little steps or whatever. And this little broad in the building liked it a little, you know what I mean? She liked me. So I was like, what up, woo woo. So I'm talking to her, whatever, whatever. Then this young dude, he walked by. Now imagine, this fool got on. Yeah. It was a square. That's what I'm going to say. It was a little square little dude. So he walked by or whatever, and he said something to her. So I guess she just smoked a blunt with the little dude or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. whatever. So basically, he was liking her. Because like I said, she was a nice-looking girl. You feel me? She had flawsies, but she was a nice-looking girl whatever. And um, and I, I mean, I might look mean or whatever, but I wouldn't gangster down and not like that. I've been stopped dressing like that. I've been versatile a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather for them not to know who I am for them to find out who I am. You dig? So any who's yep, cheese fan, but I don't smoke weed. But anyways, so um he like walked by so I can't see from the back of me but she in the front of me or whatever cause you know she know how to cut hair and she was like I'm gonna line you up or whatever. That's the first time I've ever seen the uh you know, the uh, the wireless uh, or clippers or whatever. I mean, it's 2010, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying they didn't have them before, but she had some, whatever. I was like, all right, cool. So I was going to let her line me up or whatnot. But behind me, she stopped, she paused, she kept looking up. And I'm like, why the hell she keep looking up? But, you know, I ain't, I ain't saying nothing. So I'm like, all right, boo. But really, oh, boy, I'll give her signals like, look, let's smoke. Let's, like, you know, let's smoke or whatever. So when I turned around, I turned around so fast, he looked. So he couldn't turn around either. Like he could turn around, so he could turn around real quick. You know what I'm saying? So he looked. He just like, 
like a deer in the headlights. So I'm looking at the fool, I'm like, what's up? So I just turn back around, I'm like, what's going on? She like, oh, he, he want to smoke with him. But I told him, I said, I'm cool right now. So, all right, whatever, whatever. So she, she started lining me up. He walked by and he just kept like looking. Then he go by the gate or whatever, cause it's like the entrance of the gate. And he just looking, he looking, he keep looking. And I'm like, bro, why you keep looking at me or whatever? So I asked her, I'm like, man, I'm like, hold up real quick. What's up with the little dude? Like, I don't know. I think you need to go holler at this fool because he, he just keep looking like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you just told him you didn't want to smoke with the fool, just let it be whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, she like walked over there, said something to him, whatever, whatever. I was like, what's up? He like, oh, no, I just want, I know, just right here. You know what I'm saying? Rolling the blood up. She want to smoke. You know, if you want to hit it, just let me know because I'll save you some. She was like, nah, I'm good. I got some weed. He was like, all right. All right, so he walks out the gate, thinking, I'm thinking, like, he walked off with a little blunt. He going on somewhere. Nah, this fool, like, walked out, like, 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 in the Matrix. He comes right back, and he just sit there, and he's staring at me again. So I'm like, really? <laughs> Dude, crazy. So I told her, I'm like, hold up, hold up, hold up. So I get up. I walk over there to him. I'm like, what's up, homie? You all right, good? You know, I'm walking to him, you know, dressing like, like, a, like a gentleman. I'm like, hey, bro, you you are you good? Oh, he said, what, nigga? I looked at him. I said, huh? He like, uh, I'm like, he like, excuse me. I like, I'm like, what's up, bro? You you know, you been sitting here. I like, you sitting here staring. Then you said something. Then she can't say something to you. Then you walked away. Then you come right back, but you keep staring at me. Like, what you staring at me for, bro? He tell me, who is you? I looked at that for. I said, who is you? You, you know what I'm saying? I. I come from that era where, you know, we was young, homie. We used to bang on food, whatever. But when I got like a certain age, like 16, 17, I stopped banging on fools. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I was like, it's pointless. I'm just trying to do me. I'm trying to maneuver around the city because I know it's danger. You know what I'm saying? But this fool, like, like, way took me out of my character. So I'm looking at the fool, like, like, this nigga banging on me? I'm like, cuz, where you from, cuz? He was like, he, like, he was shot. Because, like I said, at, what I had on when I was dressing, I ain't look like a game banger, you know what I'm saying? I might walk like one. I might be looking mean as well, like I'm like coming straight out of Brooklyn or something. But I didn't look like a regular California dude, you know what I'm saying? I looked like I was more from New York than anything, you know what I'm saying? And that's how I always dress. And homies always had a problem with that. Like, damn, bro, you ain't from New York. Why you dress like that? Stop listening to Wu-Tang. <laughs> Like, ah, oh, yeah, man, I, you know, I fuck with Ute, man, but I'm a locks fan, you feel me? But anyway, so he like, oh, where you from? I said, where you from, homie? He was like, oh, I don't bang. I said, I think I'm from, you know what I'm saying? Said my hood, whatever, you know what I'm saying? He like, oh, 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 that's what's up. And I'm like, yeah, homie, I'm like, I'm like, you good? He like, yeah, I'm good. I said, what's, what's, like, what's up, man? what's the problem? He like, oh, nothing, nothing, man, it was just, you know, like, I'm like, you staring. I'm like, anyways, man. I just walked away from him because I knew he was like, bro, was kind of young. I, he looked like he was probably at that time. He got there about 2010, so I'm in my 20s. Then they're like 20, like 28 or whatever. And bro, I had to been like 19. Oh, girl was like 23. So bro, was like 18, 19 or whatever. He was out of high school. He didn't want no high school. Look, he like a little square dude or whatever. But. You know, I guess he judged me because I know, because he lived in the same building the homie lived in, so he's always see me, but every time he see me, I always be by myself. I don't say too much to people, but I knew all the little young dudes around the area because I was doing a tattoo or whatever. But I, you know, I never oppressed nobody, never came out with a rag on my head, blue chucks on and all. I ain't do all that, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I don't dress like that. Every blue moon, I might throw on a uniform, you know what I'm saying? And let it be known, you know, it's still me, but that ain't how I dress, you feel me? But... It was just like, damn, bro. They're like, and that's right there and there. It, it, it dimed on me. I'm like, damn. The, the, these niggas be thinking like the niggas that's really the gangsters is soft. It's like, bro, we not soft. It's just like we I, we didn't already did all that. Like, bro, you, a lot of you fools ain't been to juvenile hall where you have to scrape up them knuckles and get down with fools. You know what I'm saying? No matter if you from the east, west, north, south. It don't matter where you from, homie. Y'all ain't been through all that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all fools just start doing all this shit. When y'all was grown, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was doing this shit when I was young, bro. First case at 13, you know what I'm saying? Catching phase with fool. I was fighting grown men, fighting the homies, you know what I'm saying? 
And, and I'm not glorifying it, but homie, like, really? You dudes just, people just so judgmental, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I be like, man, they can have this shit. Let these little internet, little young dudes be the gangster. Let them be the gangsters, homie. Catch them charges. Because y'all going to tell on each other anyway. Y'all not even built like that. That's just the facts, you know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is, you know? That was a little story I had to say, but it was just, that's when I realized, you know what I'm saying, that it was over. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, bro, I'm about to be pushing 30. All this gang banging shit, all this street shit, all this hood shit. That shit dead now. It's been dead, you know what I'm saying? Shit, we had got Jim Jones in them. Let me get bloods, really? <laughs> How that happened? But anyways, no disrespect to these fools, whatever. But I'm just saying, though, like, really? Oh, wow, man. Like, they the originators. But anyways, but then, like I said, man, you new gangsters, man, y'all can have that shit. I'm cool. I don't want to go to jail no more. Uh, I, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to be trying to gun me down because where I'm from and they just expect like, oh yeah, this nigga from Compton and man, you got to watch them nigga, they don't give a, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, don't judge me, homie. Read my book, at least, at least, at least read the back of the book or the index or something. Outside they go, but I'm just saying though, you know what I'm saying? Damn. But it's crazy though, but, um. Yeah, and the reason why I was speaking on this is because it, it just I just seen the little video of Zero and and Trade the Truth. It was crazy. I'm sorry, but uh a lot of y'all fools bring shit on y'all goddamn self, man. Stop saying what y'all are when you really not like that. It's nothing wrong with being a square. Squares be squares. The street shit, you know, if you willing to go to jail, you ready to die for this, hey, sign them papers. That's what it is. No four Ks and all that. You feel me? But at the end of the day, man, come on, man. Y'all need to stop it, man. You know, we got YouTube now. Y'all can watch Reading Rainbow. Reading Rainbow, I can be anywhere. Fuck out of here, man. You feel me? Let it go. It's okay. It's okay, babies, little babies. It's okay, little baby. You ain't got nothing to prove. Most of you niggas broke. You ain't got nothing to prove. I'm just saying. Real talk. But anyways, I'm out, man. I just talk my shit. Yeah. Mr. Ortiz, your favorite low. Yawa. Er.